Welcome to the 10 minute tutorial for research. My name is Anel Perez and I am a solutions architect on the worldwide public sector higher ed team at AWS. Today we are going to talk about running REDCap in your AWS account. So what is REDCap? Research Electronic Data Capture or REDCap for short is a NIH funded free secure web application for building and managing online surveys and databases used by over 3,000 institutions and is cited in more than 6,000 journal articles. While REDCap can be used to collect virtually any type of data including 21 CFR Part 11, FISMA and HIPAA compliant environments, it is specifically geared to support online or offline data capture for research studies and operations. The REDCap Consortium, a vast support network of collaborators, is composed of thousands of active institutional partners in over 100 countries who utilize and support REDCap in various ways. By running REDCap on AWS, your team would benefit from no longer having to monitor and maintain physical hardware. AWS managed services such as AWS Elastic Beanstalk allow you to create scalable, highly available architecture built on AWS infrastructure in addition, with the solution, you only pay for the resources that you consume and there are no long-term commitments. Best of all, you can deploy production ready REDCap environment in 20 minutes. Next, we'll spend a few minutes going over the deployment of REDCap on AWS. Before we begin, it is important to note that in order for you to deploy REDCap on AWS, you will need to obtain the source files from the REDCap website and store them in an S3 bucket. Also, you will need to have set up the Amazon Simple Email Service to act as an SMTP service for the solution. Below, you will find links. We'll start by navigating to our AWS blog containing information on deploying REDCap. Within this page, you will find information about the solution and a launch stack button that will redirect you to the GitHub page containing the AWS automation. You can find the link below. In the README section, click on the launch stack button. Keep in mind that if you are not already logged into your AWS account, you will be prompted to log in. We have now been redirected to the AWS CloudFormation service, which will automate the deployment of the solution. Accept all the defaults and click the next button. Provide a key pair, which you can use to remotely connect to the instances. If you, do not, if you do not have one, you can click on the link below for directions on how to create one. By default, the solution will allow access to anyone on the internet. If you wish, wish to restrict access, you will need to provide a valid CIDR in the limit access to IP range field. Next, we will provide an endpoint name for the solution. You have the option of importing your own domain name and using it with REDCap. However, this requires setting up the zone in Amazon Route 53. Importing your own domain name also gives you the ability to have the AWS Certificate Manager create an SSL certificate for you. Next, we'll provide our SES credentials. Pick your region. If this is intended to be a production deployment, we recommend setting the use primary and standby database instances to true, which will trigger a multi-AZ deployment to the database. Select the appropriate instance size for your database. I will be leaving the default. Next, enter a password for the database. Scroll down to the REDCap source code section. You have the option to use your REDCap community credentials to automatically download the source code. 
I will be providing the source code via an S3 bucket. Updating the VPC fields are optional. Scroll down to the bottom when you are done. Click Next. Scroll down to the bottom and click Next. Scroll down to the bottom once more. Check the boxes. Click Create Stack. It will take about 20 minutes for your deployment to finish. In the interest of time, I have another CloudFormation stack that's already completed. Once your stack is done, you will navigate to the Outputs tab of CloudFormation, and you'll be presented with a REDCap URL. You could actually click on this URL, and will redirect you to the login page for REDCap. The password to log in to the solution will be your database password that you specified earlier, and the username is going to be REDCap underscore admin. Thank you for your time. If you want to learn more or if you have any more questions, you can refer to the links below or contact our team.